you talk about production, you talk about starting with buses, you've obviously announced the, um, the hydrogen excavator. What about the market in off-road vehicles? Is that um, um, uh, one of great potential growth for you, do you think, and for hydrogen? Is it ripe? It, so um, anything that's big and heavy mm -hmm. uh, is ripe for hydrogen. The starting point really is buses because you've got demand uh, uh, and if you've got demand, you can create supply. Once you've got supply, uh, you can then go and do the other parts of the market. At this point in time, uh, we have production, we have delivery, we can we can put in, we install the hydrogen refueling stations, we can work with the electrolyzers. We, we've got all of that process. And the other thing in the family portfolio is we have a bus company and bus manufacturing business and an excavator manufacturing business. So therefore we've got other places for demand and we're just making those ready for the market because the only way to decarbonize these parts of the market are through hydrogen. Where do you okay. see hydrogen technology both nationally and globally in let's say three years time? So uh, Germany have announced seven billion for hydrogen uh, in their most recent budget. Even Portugal has announced six billion. Uh, the European Union have the hydrogen strategy announcement tomorrow, uh, but rumours of anywhere between 10 and 35 billion over the next four years to be spent on hydrogen. So hydrogen, uh, with that amount of money going for it, will make a, a part of the world's energy mix. The question is how much? Um, I don't know, but if you talk, take 10% uh, of the world's energy mix, um, okay, you've probably got a BP on your hands. If you take 30%, you've got an Exxon and a Shell together. Um, the point about it is um, it's going to happen. Uh, the question is how big is it going to be and whether it's going to be beta max versus VHS, batteries versus hydrogen. I don't think there is. I think there's going to be a, a movement for both. Um, Britain, well, Britain's got the opportunity at this point in time to do something about it, but the window's closing. It's got about six months to come up with a strategy. Um, but spending two billion on walking and cycling doesn't necessarily get you loads of hydrogen jobs. Why, does, why has it got six months? Because at this point in time, we have three bus manufacturers in the UK who all make hydrogen buses. Um, and we have uh, people who make electrolysis kit and we have all of those sort of things. But if there's so much money going on in Europe and there's no money here and there's no local demand and lo no massive local market, then a lot of those um, people will go to Europe. We already have you know, people chasing us in, in European countries for our buses. Um, and so, you, we will end up having to go down a route uh, where, you know, if there's no local demand here, then you go where the market um, is. So we published the, uh, the news about the uh, hydrogen excavator on our website last week, and I got an email from someone at Volvo saying, we released a prototype hydrogen excavator in 2017. Um, I don't know if that's something you're aware of, or it's just because we, we posted it as the world's first hydrogen excavator, and they said, it's not the world's first, ours was the world's first. Well, if it was, it's quite interesting that Volvo State is a company that they are not interested in hydrogen and they're pushing batteries as a company. Um, although having said that, uh, they have in the last month had to go back on that. They have agreed to trucks and they've announced a joint venture with Mercedes. But for many years, I would go and see the people from Volvo and say, no, 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 you've got it wrong. Batteries are the only solution. Okay. So while they might have done, um, it would be interesting. Look, I don't know whether they did or not. What I do know is in around 2017, they sold uh, their hydrogen fuel cell technology, which is called Power Cell, which is now owned by Bosch, um, because they didn't believe that hydrogen was the future. Um, well, but I, I do like this. I, I, I do like um, competition. I think it's quite cool when people sort of sit there and go, oh, we were the first. I don't know whether we're the first or not. I just think it's kind of cool to have a zero emission solution for the future, don't you? And wouldn't it be cool if it was in Britain that we could do that and export it around the world?